Hello from inside the greenhouse. It's a lovely warm afternoon inside the greenhouse in a very windy, cool outside the greenhouse. The fall winds have finally arrived and you can, you can hear them quite strong. So there has been some changes since we built this greenhouse. Um, what we found was the walls weren't strong enough the way that they were built. So we added many supports, and we did this in stages, um, to reinforce the greenhouse to prevent it from flying away. The greenhouse is supposed to withstand 90 km an hour winds to 100 km an hour winds, but being in here on some of those first windy days of early fall, um, it just didn't feel quite right, and the door loosened once. Here's the door. The door loosened up the first wind we had, so we fixed that. Another time a panel popped out. So in the meantime, what we've done was the first stage of support was the silver bars, as you can see here. Put those in on the corners and attach them to the raised bed. That's the first stage we did. Um, and the raised beds are just as deep as they are high. So they're quite sturdy and they're not going anywhere. So we reinforced the, on the corners. So as you can see, this corner here and the back corners, the, this one and this one, the shorter ones. Um, and that's when the panel popped out after a heavy wind. The door didn't rattle anymore, but the panel popped out. So then we put those corner posts in and we also did the reinforcements in the ceiling. And this is just pipe that was um, heated up flattened on the edges and supporting the greenhouse. So we thought that was enough, but then that one panel popped out. So we did more reinforcements. So since then, we have installed these black, these, these more, more um, pipes. These are very strong pipes. And we painted them so that they would match the framing of the greenhouse. So in here, as you can see, there's a, and then we put extra corner posts in. Those are again, those pipes, those very strong metal pipes on these corners. So these ones here, right on the center the, and the uh, corners of the, the top of the frame of the greenhouse, just as to pretend to prevent the snow from accumulating and then buckling on the greenhouse. So that should stop that from happening. And then as well, these other black ones came in and then these corner ones. So now we're all reinforced and if you try to shake the greenhouse it's very very stable it's not moving so that's done then we had some electricity installed so this is the switch it goes on when it goes on those ceiling lights turn on those are led lights and i'm thinking to use them well they're so i can come in when it's dark in the winter but also to possibly extend the days. We'll see how that goes with the day length. They are grow lights, so maybe they'll work, maybe not. Um, so that's the light. And then I also have power installed right here. This lifts up. There's a plug. And that's for a space heater or a fan or anything else I need. And as well, I have water. Water is shut off right now for the winter, um, but it's right here. So this will allow me to water my plants and I have one of those retractable hoses. It's turned off for the winter. Um, in the meantime, I'll have to use a watering can to water or I can stretch a long one from the house. Um, and that'll be the watering as well. There's, this greenhouse came with drip irrigation, so these will be installed later. But I wanna show you what's growing. Um, we put our, some of the shelves up, we put three of the six. So I brought in my strawberry container. It's very warm in here, you see. Strawberries are doing beautifully. Uh, we've dug up the pelargoniums, the what you call geraniums, a bunch of them. So there's one. That's my canna, I brought it in. And there's more pelargoniums right there. Out there, but the greenhouse seems okay. 
Um, don't you love fall winds? They're so much fun. Wow. Let's see the paneling is wobbling. So in here I have, things are growing really, really beautifully. We had some warm days, so I want to show you what's growing. So I, I planted some dill on the corner there because I planted mash in this row and nothing happened. Two came up, so I'm thinking to reseed something else, but dill has come up in the meantime. I have two varieties of lettuce, this arugula, which is beautifully growing. I have spinach right here, which is growing very, very slowly as it always does. And I have another type here, which didn't do all that well. There's a, there's a bald spot right there, so I'm going to put something in, in its place. This is this beautiful Scarlet Frills mustard. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's a mild mustard, but how lovely this mustard. And then I have radishes ready for harvest. These have been in the ground since... Mm, I'm looking for the tag. Let's see what the tag is. September the 21st. And now we are at October the 24th. So in a month, they're ready. With no bite marks, no bugs, nothing. Amazing. These are ready for harvest. So I'll be doing that and then I'll plant more radish in its place. These are, so here's more radishes, different varieties. This one's even split. This is turnip. These are the Japanese baby turnips. Those will be ready soon. Swiss chard is doing really well. I planted more. I seeded directly into the greenhouse and they have come up beautifully, finally filling out. This one was a transplant from the garden, which was a tiny one. And it's done really well, I've even harvested once. These are some lettuces and a kale, which I had to clip right down because there was actually a cabbage worm crawling around and eating it. So I had to cut it right down and it has regrown. A frise. Um, lots of lettuce, ready for harvesting. So I'm harvesting slowly because I'd like to keep it as long as I can. Peas have come up. No flowers yet. Wow, that wind. I have my lime in here now, and since I've transferred it into the greenhouse, it's actually blooming, and it smells incredible. Kind of like a cross between a jasmine and a lemon. And there's a lime ready for picking, and it's producing more lime, which is really, really amazing. So I hope to keep it in here all winter if it's warm enough for it. That's an agapanthus that I'm overwintering in here for now. Uh, Lily of the Nile in common, it's common name. And here I have some wild garden frills kale and it's growing. This one here isn't growing, it's called Improved Siberian Kale. It should be a nice cold hardy one but it's not really, the germination rate is very low on this one. So I need to reseed something in here. It's been in here since October the 3rd so it hasn't done very much. This is Mizuna, two varieties of pak choy, a, a green one and a white one. This is a variety of lettuce, which has not come up. It's been here since October the 3rd. I think those are weeds. I was just waiting to see. So I will reseed this one completely, put a different lettuce into it or something else, I haven't decided. These are two varieties of lettuce and they're growing much slower because they were seeded October the 3rd and since the days have become shorter they're not doing as well as the ones I had sown a week prior. They're quite slow, so these are growing slowly. This is Frise, it's coming up now. And then the last bed I sowed, which is doing really, really well, and actually better than these seeds, this was on October the, sown October the 10th. So here I have two varieties of radish. This one is the sparkler radish. This one is the bartender radish, which is a new one for me. This is one variety of lettuce, a second, a third. So three varieties of lettuce all coming up beautifully. And I've, I sow thickly, and then what I'll do is I'll thin them as they grow to give them space. But I'll try to do a cut and come again salad. Because um, winter is coming, 
I don't need to give them a lot of space because they won't grow that much. I just want to overseed it so that way it will give me plenty to hold me for as long as I can into the winter. This is another variety of lettuce which is, doesn't have the same germination rate. So I'm the same. And then here I put a winter keeper beet. And it's come up really well. We had a nice warm um, last weekend and it gave it that little boost. This I just watered. So it's flopping a little bit, I just correct them. And then I put in some onion seeds, a package of seeds uh, from France. They're white ones and they're like a pearl onion, but a little bit larger. So they've been sown as well. And as you can see, they've come up. So I'm excited about these. They're doing really well. And these are onions that I had growing in the garden that weren't growing very well. They were shaded. So I brought them in here and they are growing beautifully and I hope to use them as green onion. And finally, over here is my patch of celery that I transplanted from the garden. There are three big bunches that are growing inside. And then when I see these dead stalks, I just pull them out. So I need to do a little bit of cleanup here to fix this yellow. You don't need to have any energy wasted on dying stems. So all these will come up. Um, and then I'll, I'll clean that up so it's nice and, and clean and, uh, and green without any drying stems that are not needed. So that's what's going on in the greenhouse right now. I'm super happy the progress. It's a pleasure to come in here. It's nice and warm. Still, when the, sky, when the sun goes down a bit, goes behind the clouds, it does cool off, but I find most of the time it's around 10 degrees in here in the evening. And in the daytime it heats up really hot, so these vents are automated and they just open up when needed. So today, as you can see, the sky is a bit cloudy now and they haven't opened, which is a good thing because of how windy it is. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being with me here. Please subscribe to my channel. I will have a lot more videos coming up of what I'm doing in the greenhouse over the winter. And I hope that what I talk about inspires you to make your own gardens, greenhouse, think about growing vegetables. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'd love to answer them and help you out as best as I can. Thanks again for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye for now.